Hello guys, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial, and today we're going to be getting some more science before we head off on our venture to space. If you go to the R&D facility, you can go mouse down here and see his basic science note at the bottom. It gives us the Science Junior, which is a big science experiment that generates a big amount of science. So, um, seeing as the science return is equally large, that's something on our bucket list. So, let's get to the vehicle assembly building. So, we're going to be building a slightly more ambitious rocket. Starting off with the Mark 1 command pod again, and we still need a parachute. That hasn't changed. But now, here's the thing. When we land, we're going to have a big load. And that log, um, that load, not log, load, <laughs> load um is going to make it too hard for the parachute to stop so we need this decoupler here you get it in coupling and you can you just click on it and you'll have this and this will um separate the rest of the rocket from the capsule now if you go to fuel tanks you'll see that we have I've unlocked two fuel tanks you want to select the, the big one we'll need some of these Yeah, just stick four on there. Three should get us. So now, we are going to need some science. And now, if we go here, we've got a whole plethora of science experiments. We've got the old mystery goo, as well as a too hot thermometer. Remember to smack the thermometer on there and the prism mapper on there, an even better experiment. So, what do these do? So, um, the thing about the, um, the thing about the, ex these two experiments, the press map thermometer and the two half thermometer, basically just thermometer, I'll call it thermometer now one, those are reusable, which means we can use them more than once. However, if you have a scientist Kerbal, our current scientist is Bob Kerman. We, he, you can reset the mystery goo and science junior, which is the experiment I want to unlock. That's also one time use. So, this we can call this destiny. It sounds interesting. Now our Kerbal, so we already got, so, um, let's give maybe Valentina a chance to ride our rocket. Okay. This looks good to go, and let's fade to the launch pad. Okay, so some of you might have noticed the stealth edit there. That's because I actually crashed the first time I flew this. So, and I had to redo the mission. That's about it. So, let's, um, so basically what you want to do is turn on stability control using the T key. Throttle up to Z. Or basically to full throttle. I keep saying throttle to Z, but that's because you hit the Z key and then it makes you full throttle. We can log the pressure data on the other side and the thermometer data. So the mistake I made last time is I picked up too much vertical, is I picked up too much sideways velocity, velocity horizontal velocity too fast and then I didn't end up having enough time to actually deploy the parachute which is kind of a problem when you're flying a spacecraft because the parachute didn't deploy our time and our poor Kerbal um, turned into pancake Kerbal I'll put it that way so now I'm just trying to regain control at just point Prograde. Nope, wow, this thing really wants to point retrograde, doesn't it? Okay, how is our map looking? We seem to be over the target, okay. Double space, hits one space to detach, second space to deploy the parachute. Now we 
flying over Kirby's grassland so we can observe the mystery. Well, okay, we could, we should get it. Yep, we get a crew report. And now we can use the time acceleration trick I showed you earlier. And... Okay, I think these, these mystery goo units are going to explode, aren't they? Mm. No, they didn't. Okay, so our Kerbal can EVA. That's kind of a weird capsule position. I can take a surface sample. Take an EVA report. We can take the data, store the experiments. We can board. We can take a crew report. And then actually we need to EVA again because we need to take the data from these peripheral side modules. Store them in here. Board. And then do these experiments again because we can they're now empty. And now we can use one of our mystery goos actually get to spend the other one but hey it made our vessel s stable now we can see how much science we've got fifty science that's amazing now we can unlock the basic science note and We'll go to space in the next episode, but until then, I'm Master Kerbalot. Enjoy your ride.